these skies of a different light Why noise it keeps me up at night I can't help but think back to you I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize I replay the memory of you It's been hard, you know I want Hey everyone, it's the next day And so I figured I would vlog again because uh, there's something I actually want to do today. Hi. Say hi, Harrison. Mm. Other than that, that's no, 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 no. Don't put the ball in the water. Dude. He always sticks his balls in the dog's water. I swear, that child. Yeah, you and that ball, dude. <laughs> um, the reason why I want to vlog today is I'm trying something new. So I'm going to take you along with me as I do it. So I'm going to take a leaf out of another vlogger's um, book that I like to follow and watch. And I'm going to try it today. So we're going to see how it goes. I've got my laptop right here as well as the items right there in the corner so first off go show you what's on this computer and get this get the stuff yes let's go I was doing and I bet you are wondering what it is that I'm going to do so I'm going to show you got paper and a little book a binder dividers and sheet protectors so with this binder I am going to be taking a leaf from Jordan page from fun cheaper free and I'm going to do a recipe binder I currently am using this this little book right here and it works well but I have a tendency to spill things on the pages and some of the pages are actually starting to tear away from the book and so I want to get something that's going to hold up a little bit more I love this little book though it's nice and small which I really like but it's not very feasible when it comes to cooking. So instead, I'm going to take my recipes, which I have printed off right here, and I'm going to stick them inside this binder, and they're going to be covered by sheet protectors, which will be so very nice, because then if food spills on it as I'm cooking, I can just wipe it away because it's covered by a plastic sheet. And so, let's get started. All right, so uh, on Jordan Page's video, she remarked that she divides her meals up by meats. So in my instant, all right, I'm back with a little dude. And um, so as I was saying, uh, she says to list the foods, the recipes by food group, as in proteins. So I'm going to list mine in the different proteins so that that way if I don't have one protein versus others that I do, then I can just flip to that section and I have recipes to choose from. Okay, so I'm separating all of my recipes. So far I have it divided up into three different categories. I've got my appetizer side dishes right here. I've got my main dishes right here. And then I've got my dessert dishes right here. Now that I have those separated into my, as of right now, my three different categories, I'm going to put them in the sheet protectors. I'm having a hard time with this one. 
put on some of my papers. Some of them are quite small, so you know, it encompasses only a small portion of the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the portion of one recipe and attach it to another. That way it only takes up one sheet protector. I've got them right there, and now I'm just going to put the recipes in its own container, in its own protector. All right, so I've got two recipes on one side, and I'm gonna add the other one to the next side. Okay, so I got one side, two side, and then that's how that goes. So I'm gonna put the rest of these together into their dividers, and it will, into their uh, sheet protectors, and then I will show you what they look like as soon as I'm finished. Okay, I've got everything put into their protective sheets. And so now I'm going to stick them inside the binder. And like I was saying, I'm going to separate them out by protein or by item type. So I'll start it off by doing side dishes and appetizers and things like that, since that is the first thing that usually people look for, side dishes, appetizers, at least for me, in my opinion. So I have all of these um, sheet protectors left over and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stick them in the binder. That way when I do need them, they're here. So that's it, I've got my binder set up. I don't have much in here, but it will get, it'll get there. So there's what I have so far and I'm hoping this will help out a lot in regards to keeping my recipes more uh, readily available because there are some times that I just forget where they are or I don't know what to put in what and so it just it turns out being a big old mess. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go see what he wants. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, Mr. Harrison, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Who's home? Ah. Who's home? Ah. Say dad. 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 Hi. Ah. Hi, baby. Yeah. Okay, come up. Um. Climb up. There you go. Good job. Everybody, guess what? It's another windstorm again. Yay for uh, summer storms. Um, but yeah, it's crazy windy. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's like super duper dark over there. It looks darker in real life. But yeah, so we have a nice little storm coming in. And uh, it feels great. I love it. You probably can't hear me very well, but I don't care. Regardless, it just feels amazing out here. So I'm going to end the vlog and uh, say good night say goodbye see you next time and all that fun stuff so thanks for watching Harrison say bye bye say bye bye you want your basketball hoop up yeah okay all right I girl put up a basketball hoop bye guys I'm coming home to you